If you struggle with your strike, so off centre hits, heel or toe, or you struggle controlling the face angle at impact, then this is a really good drill to get your putter kind of tracking on the correct path through impact. So we know that naturally, as we're standing one side of the ball and the, the shaft is inclined, that the putter is going to work on some kind of an inclined plane and there's going to be some arcing to the stroke, okay, just naturally. But through the impact zone, so let's say three or four inches either side of the ball, there really isn't going to be too much of an arc to the stroke. So what I've done here, I've used a chalk line to help me, but I've put tees just a couple of millimetres outside of the toe and the heel of the position where I want the putter to be at impact, then maybe three or four inches behind that, I've done the same again, and then again three or four inches in front of that, I've done the same again. And then what I'm gonna what I'm gonna practice is before I even attempt to hit a putt, I'm gonna learn to control the mass of the putter through the impact zone. Okay, so I see a lot of golfers that struggle with strike, kind of moving the putter too far towards them or too far away from them in the backstroke, and therefore struggling with their strike as it comes into impact. Okay, so if we can control our path through the impact zone, we can see that the putter is naturally arcing, but through impact, I'm controlling the mass, and therefore I'm gonna have a better chance of controlling the face and the strike. Once I get used to that feeling of letting the putter move through, and I'm doing it at the tempo that I want to hit the putt, I can then start to hit putts. So I've kind of got control of that putter, I've learnt what that feeling is, and then I'm just going to replicate on the ball. What this also is going to give me, if I'm hitting any of these tees, I'm getting feedback as to actually what is the path of my putter doing. So if I hit this one, I know I'm taking it too far out. If I hit this one too far in, if I hit this one on the way down, coming into impact, I know I might be looping it under. So I'm learning what needs to change within my stroke in order to get it traveling through the tees. Just gonna do one more for you. So let's say I'm gonna do a few practice strokes. Then I'm going to place the ball in, do a few more practice strokes, and then I'm going to try and repeat that on the ball. So give this, this drill a go. Really easy to set up, just a few tees. Don't necessarily, necessarily need a chalk line, but it's quite helpful for the setting up of the drill. But learn to control the mass of the putter through impact, control the path of the putter, and you'll have a better chance of striking your putts well and controlling the face.